All of us on this planet are on the brink of a kind of close encounter. A big asteroid is hurtling through space, and it's supposed to miss us by a cosmic inch, just 17,000 miles. That's closer than some of our weather satellites. In fact, it's so close, scientists are springing into action, and here's ABC's Neil Karlinski. Right now, while you're watching this, a chunk of space rock big enough to level a city is hurtling towards our planet eight times faster than a speeding bullet. The good news is, scientists say it will miss. The scary news is, the 130,000 metric ton asteroid called DA-14 is the size of half a football field, and it will be much closer than the moon. In fact, it will thread the needle between Earth and the roughly 600 satellites around us, the ones that your cell phone relies on, possibly even smashing one to smithereens on its way by. But if that's why you're thinking this is all still a long, long way from all of us way down here walking the streets, you may want to think again. The last close call turned out to be a direct hit. It was 1908, and luckily it hit the middle of nowhere, Siberia, decimating a thousand miles of trees, but no people. If a very large asteroid hit, it would probably create the same kind of disaster that wiped out the dinosaurs. Amazingly, no one knew DA-14 was headed our way until a Spanish dentist and amateur astronomer randomly discovered it a year ago. NASA doesn't have the resources to look for asteroids, which is why a trio of American astronauts and rocket scientists are raising money to launch their own asteroid early warning system called Sentinel, a dedicated telescope scanning the stars for threats. This asteroid is a wake-up call that we should be looking out there. These things do hit the Earth. Scientists say we can keep the planet safe if we just know what's out there headed our way. And we start with some breaking news this hour. People in the Urals in Russia have seen burning objects raining down from the sky after a meteorite exploded above the Earth, causing a meteor shower. Eyewitnesses reported several blasts rocking the region and as long trails of smoke in the air. And RT's Lucy Gafanov has more now. So, Lucy, what's going on there? Hi there, Yulia. Well, remember, uh, imagine you're driving to work on a beautiful, calm Friday morning and suddenly a massive fireball appears out of nowhere in the sky. You're thinking to yourself, is this a plane crash? Is this a rocket attack, a UFO? Well, when it comes to the Urals region in Chelyabinsk, the city in Russia, it's actually a meteor shower. This is what took place this morning. Really stunning images that you're seeing there right now. Now, what we know from officials, according to officials and eyewitnesses, is that a series of explosions possibly five to six, took place when this meteor exploded in the air, raining down molten hot debris onto the ground. Now, this has caused widespread panic in at least three cities. Witnesses reported the walls of houses shaking, windows being blown out, uh, cell phones even reportedly stopped working in some areas. Now, we're still getting the details. Uh, details are still slowly coming in from officials, but what we know so far is that there are no casualties, no massive injuries, at least that's what we're hearing. At the moment, there has been some concern uh, about potential small injuries at a school, unconfirmed. So some schools are reportedly being evacuated. We're also hearing that a zinc factory was hit by a piece of the meteor, but no leaks reported so far. Um, officials did do preliminary testing of radiation levels in the area. They say that that is okay, but of course tests are going to continue throughout the day. The biggest issue right now is the falling debris and the smoke that the black smoke that people are reported uh, reporting that is hanging in the air. So very, very shocking developments, probably not the kind of surprise you want to see on your way to work on Friday morning. Uh, one interesting uh, fact of note is that the world is closely watching another meteor that's supposed to graze past the Earth later on this evening. That's the size of an Olympic-sized swimming pool. This is an unrelated incident. And of course, as it develops, we will continue to bring you more information. Again, no casualties reported so far. Radiation levels are okay at the moment, but of course, we'll have to keep you up to date as the developments come in.